Rain is a blessing from God. Some blessing when they are coming. Amen. It will look as if God is disturbing you. But it is actually a blessing. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay. We have a sister that has a message. The Lord gave you a message. Can you come and tell the church, Sister Jayola? Praise the Lord, church. I give God all the glory for this wonderful opportunity he has given unto us to see a new month. I say may his name be praised and glorified forever in Jesus' name. We are, in this, we are on the seventh month of the year and the Lord said he's perfecting his promises consigning the church and its people starting from this month of July. And he gave me Isaiah 51 verse 3. Fifty one, verse three. Isaiah fifty one, verse three says, For the Lord shall comfort Zion, he will comfort all her waste places, and he will make her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein has given and the voice of melody. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord said he is the rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Remember he promised last year that he will reward those that diligently seek him this year. And he said starting from this month of July that he will reward those that have been seeking him diligently in Jesus name Amen the Lord is asking his people today he said who is on the Lord's side the Lord is asking his people today he said where are you standing he said many has left his place. He said many have crossed to the other side of the world without knowing that they are no longer on the Lord's side. He said that many are standing at the edge of the borderline between Christ and the world without knowing that they are no longer right inside. The Lord said, because they refuse him to rule through their hearts, he said that is why they are not established on his path to walk in his ways. He said, for when he rules through the heart of any man, he establishes him on his path to walk in his ways. He said, many are called, but few are chosen. He said, those that are established on his path, walking in his ways, are the chosen one of the Lord. He said, when he returns, only those he will meet on his path, walking on his ways, that will go with him in rapture. He said he has been alerting his people, giving them signals of his salvation that is near and his righteousness that is about to be revealed. He said, yet many are not moved. 
many are still walking in disobedience. He said from the 8th of April, he has given us reasons to examine ourselves and draw closer to him. He said, but yet, many are not moved. Many are still walking in disobedience. He said, many claim to be on his side. Many claim to know him. He said, but yet, they refuse to take his counsel and they take pleasure in walking in disobedience. He said, shame unto them. Shame unto them. And he gave me Isaiah 30 verse 1. Isaiah 30 verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. He also gave me John chapter 8, verse 47. And John chapter 8, and verse 47. He that is of God, heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. He also gave me Titus chapter 1, verse 15 to 16. Titus chapter 1, verse 15. Unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defied and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. Verse 16. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. He also gave me 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 13 to 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, chapter 3, verse 13 to 15. Verse 13 to 15, verse 13 says, Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he has built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. And he also gave me Luke chapter 17, verse 22. Luke 17, 22 to 37. And he said unto the disciples, The days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. And they shall say to you, See here, or see there, go not after them, nor follow them. For as the lightning, the lightning out of the one part of the uh, uh, part under heaven, shineth unto the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriages until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Praise the Lord. To verse 37. Verse? That's 22 to 37. Oh, okay. Verse 22. Which verse are we? Luke 17, 22 Now to verse 28. Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot. They did eat, they drank, 
They bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even though shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return. Remember Lord's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together. One shall be taken and the other left. Two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, We are Lord. And he said unto them, We are so ever the body is. Thither will the eagles be gathered together. Praise the Lord. The Lord said his time is drawing near. He said his time is too close. It's closer, more closer than we think. He said as many that will retrace their steps today to make it right with him. He said they should not look back anymore. He said looking back is dangerous because this might just be the last opportunity. This might just be the only opportunity you have. He said I should tell his people as you take the decision today to make it right with him the Lord said that you should stay put inside. He said stay inside for when he returns he wants to meet you there. And as you obey, remain blessed and rapturable in Jesus' name. Amen. And the Lord ministered to me. He said, There are two brothers in our midst today. He said one of these brothers has been believing God for a change in his situation. And because he has prayed for long and nothing seems to be happening, he has made up his mind and he's given God a condition that if God does not do anything now, he will drop the Bible. That how can he be serving God and his life will still remain like this. That his friends are making it out there in the world. And the Lord is giving me this message for you today. In Proverbs 23, verse 17 to 19. Proverbs 23, verse 17. To 19. to 19. He said, Let not thy heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Hear thou, my son, and be wise, and guide thy heart in the way. Praise the Lord. And as for the second brother, there is an oppression going on in your family. And all the enemy wants to achieve is to wipe off that family from the face of the earth. Now you are afraid. Everything seems as if it is getting to your turn. You've decided to run under the umbrella of the Lord for your protection. And today the Lord is saying to you, fear not. And he gave me Psalm 91 verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He also gave me Isaiah 49 verse 26 for you. Isaiah 39, 49 verse 26. 
Isaiah what? 49. 49. Okay. Yes, sir. Verse 26. 26. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. Joy. And they shall be drunken with their own blood. As with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Amen. God bless you, church. When did you receive this revelation? Tell the, re the church. The revelation has been coming since on Wednesday. But I try to, I, I, never, I never really know how to go about it. Until this morning at the powerhouse there, when the power of God came upon me. And God used Sister Joy to confirm. She said, release the thing so that you'll be free. That was when I made up my mind to just give the message. Amen. God bless you. Church, can we clap our hands for our God? <laughs> Amen. Uh, Jayola, come. You also had a revelation. <laughs> A husband and wife, uh, two of them are all prophets in the same house. Cha! You know that house go build. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you believe this month of July, God will perfect your testimony. I say, Praise the Lord. Before Pastor called me now, and the Lord just flashed something to me, so that's why I believe this month. In fact, it's for me and my family. <laughs> and it came to me because while we are praying, the Lord ministered to me and gave me Proverbs 30, verse 17. Yes. And I wrote it, I gave to Pastor. I said, he should go through it so that he will understand more better. The Lord spoke to me that this month of July, that is going to be a great testimony in the life of his own children. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because even while my wife was having this message, I didn't know it's for the church. I was just in my office after powers. She was sharing tears and also. So she was writing something. I thought it's something else. Praise the Lord. Mm. And why she came out and I said, okay, that is God. And he spoke to me. One, he said, as many that the devil has frustrated your family. I am not saying it to please anybody. I'm standing in the altar of the Holy Ghost to tell you this. He said, as many that the devil has frustrated your family from years to years, that this month of July is going to be a revival in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. In addition, you know, Pastor Thomas was talking about the offering. And every day they keep preaching about the offering. Change your offering. And it took me back sometime on the night vigil. He said that everybody should change their offering. What are vigil on Sunday? And he spoke to me again. He said many of them are still disobeying him. That through that place, he wants to bless so many people. But because the little they drop, is that same little is given to them. It's what you ask, he will give you. He said if it is one naira, he's replacing it with one naira. If you do more than, he will bless you more than what you expected. And I believe your pocket your finance will change this month in the name of Jesus Christ. And don't remember me because sometimes my birthday will pass. I won't remember. So he now told me, do you remember that this month is your month? So I now remember, I said, okay, this month is my birthday. Praise the Lord. Because there's some time I'm in Abuja, I was to come to Lagos. Truly, there was no shishi in my pocket. I was stranded in the city of Abuja. Enter train now. So it's been a long and I stood at beggar. I don't know if you know Abuja, that is Otaku there. And God spoke to me, I should go and stand on the road. I'm telling you, some people have shared this testimony. And that is the first time in my life, or even in this country, to enter night bus. And I went, first of all, I went to a mountain of fire. They pursued me out of that church. <laughs> I'm telling you a life story. It's a life story. And when I stood on the road, my old ID card that I've used to work, I was showing them on the streets. And I could get 1,600 naira so that I could come to Lagos. I was standing there and the Lord spoke to me. He said, go to Chisco. 
I went to the security man, they are Yoruba people, but they thought it would not be possible. So I now tell them, this is my problem. They say, you are not an Igbo, it will be hard for you. I said, God sent me to the manager. So he went to the manager, fill a form. He said, it will be difficult. I said, I will drop my bag. I will bring this small change. If I get to Lagos, I will find my way. And I told the man, I said, if it is God, if the man is with his own mother, the best person in life in this world, if you see my face, he will discharge him. And behold, we open the door, the man tell everybody to go out. And he said, what is your problem, young man? And I told him. He carried me to the counter and gave me a ticket free to Lagos. <laughs> free to Lagos. <laughs> I'm telling you a life story. And my 1006 was still remaining in my pocket. And that was the time they said, Los Giros, I'm robber, all that and that. So when we move in the night, one man was asking me, brother, where did they go? Before he asked me, I condemned myself. So that if they are still in that night, they will not say this, but shh, shh, you know, they're in pockets. So he now said he's going to lay an Osho there. I said, okay, that's why I have confidence. And when we are moving that night, God spoke to me, do you know why you have that favor? He said, remember, look the seat of the vehicle. And I look at the seat, it was 25th and 25. That is the number of the seat. And he said, do you remember that that is your birthday? Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is how that favor come to me that day. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. All of you, this month, I am saying in your life, I speak in your life, Amen. I am prophesying in your life Amen. by the power in the spoken word. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. this month will be a month in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As many that the devil have denied your right, as many that the devil have frustrated your testimony, whoever it is that says over his dead body or a dead body, that you will not succeed or testify in life. This month, there will be testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. As I was speaking now, the Lord spoke to me. I know we came for our most marriage yesterday. But something flashed to me now. He said, somebody, you are not an evil person. I saw it from somewhere in those states. You, your problem is between you and your mother. And your mother entered covenant with you and agree that you will not marry. I don't know this person. But as I was talking now, the Spirit of God said this to me. And he said, I should tell that person, if you are here, come out. If you can't come out, after I'm letting service, just come out. I will take you to pass office for this testimony. He said he has break that covenant today. Yeah. And by the grace of God, obey God so that he will fulfill his promise in your life. The right choice is near. Just God bless you. Clap your hands for that release of blessing. Amen. God bless you. Please let me just call your attention to something. I just called. Please. You see the coordinators walking up and down. They are here to keep order. Please. When you are